Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice logarithmic equation with the natural log. We've done a similar problem before. I think we had a tower of three things. This time it's two, so it's a little easier. So we're going to go ahead and solve this problem. And then we're going to look at a graph. Okay. So let's see. How can we solve this problem? By the way, when I show you the graph, you're going to notice that I must use parentheses around the argument of the ln function. Otherwise, Desmos is going to be mad. Anyways, here I don't. So we have this ln x to the power ln x. By the way, let me clarify this because um, there's been a confusion before. This means ln of x to the power ln x, not ln x to the power of ln x. That is actually a different thing. If I meant that, I would use parentheses around ln x. Make sense? Okay. So we have the first case scenario. So that means we can use the power rule. What is the power rule for logarithms? Well, if you have ln a to the b, then you can move this b to the front, and that becomes b times ln a. Now, why does this work? Use the definition of logs, and you're going to see why this works. Make sense? So you can basically set ln a equal to, I don't know, z. And then from here, by definition, you get a equals e to the power z. And then ln a to the power b is ln e to the z to the b, which is ln e to the power zb right <laughs> and then you can kind of proceed with that okay anyways so that shouldn't be too hard to prove with that idea but let's get back to the problem now we do need to bring this down so that's the rule let's go ahead and do it here ln x to the ln x let's write it without the parentheses now because it looks better is e to the fourth power now if i bring this to the front that's going to become ln x times ln x. Okay? And, of course, that's going to equal e to the fourth. Now, some folks might be thinking, aren't we supposed to ln both sides so we can get a nice number? No, that's actually not the case. Okay? Anyways, so from here, what do we get? We get ln x squared equals e to the fourth power. So what does that give us? Two solutions. If something squared equals a positive number, then when you square root, you have to use absolute value, and that gives you two different values. One of them is ln x equals the square root of e to the fourth power, which is e squared, and the other one is going to be the opposite of this. Because if you square negative e squared, you get e to the fourth power, don't you? So we got two solutions, looks like. From here, let's find the x values. That's what we're looking for, right? Uh, well, think about the definition of the log. This is natural log, so the base is e. x becomes e to the power e squared. That's one of the solutions. And the other one is going to come from e to the power negative e squared. All right? That makes sense? Those are going to be the two solutions. Now, Notice that our function turned into something else. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions, and then hopefully that'll make more sense. Okay? All right, so those are the solutions. Hopefully they were not expected. Now here's the graph. Our function, again, I need to write it as this. So x to the power ln x is inside the parentheses right? That's what I meant. And then ln x squared is the same thing as this. As you can see, the dotted line kind of indicates that these two graphs actually overlap. And why don't we see the graph of a horizontal line here? Because it's out of bounds. Unfortunately, it did not fit the screen. e to the fourth power is way too large. It's about 54.8. Five nine eight, Okay? That's a very large value. But guess what? 
this graph will have kind of like a two branches that are not symmetrical, by the way, but there will be two intersection points, which are not visible. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.